Okay, so here I'm driving along, uh, doing the test uh, for my uh, my splice. See if there's any heat up. And as you can see, the uh, temperature is nice and cool right now. 13,000 ohms is roughly uh, well, it's less than 20 C. So on my way to the hardware store, I temperature didn't move at all. So right now I'm on the highway doing uh, only 75 kilometers, so I'm not drawing too much power. Actually, maybe it's better just to see the power draw from there. Interesting story, when I was uh, put everything back together, I turned, uh, tried to turn the car on and uh, it kept saying that I wasn't pressing on the brakes. And as you know, to turn the car on, you have to be pressing on the brakes. So trying to figure out what was going on, I, Finally, uh, I even checked with my uh, one of these scan pro if there's any error codes. There's no error codes. It turns out uh, if the main disconnect is turned is off, that's what it does. It just doesn't go on and it just complains that you're not pressing on the brakes. I thought there would be some kind of error code for another error code, but obviously there's not. So here I'm coming up on uh, that slight hill that I mentioned. I'm going to keep on driving slowly uh, below the speed limit just to uh, to give it a good uh, current draw going up the hill but I've got a feeling that it's not going to be a problem uh, all the driving I've done up to now no problems at all the temperature is nice and cool they're both at uh, you can see that 13 13 so here we go Full acceleration, pulling over 200 amps. Temperature is not budging at all. Now that I'm going 20, I have to slow down because this car is in front. So I'm regening. I don't know if you can hear this through the uh, video, but you can actually hear the motor a lot louder without the console. Oh, so the temperature did go up a bit now. <laughs> but uh, there, here, nothing to worry about. 12.8. Really, nothing to worry about at all. I'm gonna slow down a bit some more. There's a full regen. That's the positive uh, test. Temperatures not even warm. The other one's the same. I've been in residential areas, and uh, I guess because of the wind on the highway, it actually keeps the turbulence keeps the temperatures a little cooler. I've been doing a lot of jackrabbit stop, start and stop, start and stops, and this is about the warmest I've been able to get it, which is 12.11. So remember that as this drops the temperature is actually higher. So this one's at 12.46, now they're going slowly, going back up. Yeah. Anyway, so I think this is a positive result. The uh, the heating, the, the splice is not warming up at all. And I'm actually kind of surprised because it's 250 amps on uh, full acceleration going through there. I uh, thought it would be more heating uh, just as normal because the, the wires are about uh, I think they're about one out zero so they're not that thick considering the amount of current going through it but uh, I guess it's not for long periods of time so you don't accelerate for more than uh, I guess what 10 seconds <laughs> at most but um, so I guess that's a positive results I am uh, pleased very pleased with this actually um, I was expecting the temperature to go up at least uh, a bit, but uh, doesn't seem to have at all or almost none. Okay, so here's my uh, my splice here. 
So I'm checking just with my fingers to see if I feel any hot spots and nope, it's nice and cool. So I'm very happy with that. So now I'm gonna leave this. I'm gonna take these slippers off because I don't need them. Take that wire away. And these, this is just uh, some slack that I have to pull back to the back of the car. Got a good connection here. Good, uh, good insulation. It's gonna be, it's gonna work. Well, at least this part's gonna work. It's gonna be. Uh, what's left to find out is what's gonna happen when I try to parallel in uh, my pack of 18650s. That's uh, for a later date.